Dr. Soikana, warmly received by Mr. Nehru at New Delhi, had been invited to attend India's great celebrations of her own Republic Day. Later, there was a touch of traditional splendor as Dr. Prasad drove in state to the Irwin Stadium. All India, of course, was rejoicing on this great day, and many ceremonies marked the occasion throughout the land. First anniversary of India's Republic Day, the President, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, arrived in state at Kingsway, New Delhi. He was greeted by Sardar Baldav Singh, Defence Minister, and also by the Naval and Air Force CMCs, who are British. The march past by token units of India's fighting services was very smart indeed. In New Delhi, capital of the Indian Republic, Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr. Butler, attends a garden party. India's Prime Minister Nehru mingles with the guests, who include Mrs. Pandit, President of the United Nations. Later, a great parade through New Delhi is held in celebration of the fourth anniversary of Republic Day. at Kingsway, the great avenue in New Delhi, for the celebration of Republic Day. Premier Nehru greets him in front of the dais, where they will take the salute at the great march past. This would be the most memorable anniversary of the young Republic of India. Nearly three million people saw the Queen and Duke as they rode with President Prasad, escorted by splendidly uniformed lancers towards the reviewing place. To all outside nations, how strange it must have seemed that Republican India and Great Britain should nowadays be more affectionately linked than ever before. Yet such are the ties of freedom, abundantly manifested on this glorious day. Before the parade commences, the President awards the Paramvir Chaks to Major Dhan Singh Thapa. This highest award for gallantry during the 1962 operation on the northern borders also goes posthumously to Subedar Joginder Singh, and his widow receives the honour. So does Major Shaitan Singh's widow, recognition of our husband's gallantry in Ladakh. The anniversary of the Republic of India was celebrated in the usual way with a monster parade. Earl Mountbatten, with his daughter Lady Pamela, was received by Defence Minister Chavan, and Mr. Nehru attended, to the great satisfaction of all in the huge crowd. New Delhi was thronged from end to end for the giant parade marking the 15th anniversary of the Republic. Premier Shastri came to the saluting base to receive the President of India, Dr. Radhakrishnan. This is the day of the year when this great nation forgets its troubles and thinks only of independence. But in many ways, especially in the bearing of the army, India looks back with satisfaction on its association with Britain. of independence, a memorable day in the annals of modern India, an occasion for a great nation to recall its military glory. Taking the salute was Vice President Hussein, President Radhakrishnan being ill. The many facets of Indian life, past and present, formed a pageant of eastern splendor along the majestic Raj Park. Millions of Indians throng the streets of their capital city to join the celebrations for Republic Day. It is India's greatest show, and the parade is never less than spectacular. President of India, Dr. Zakir Hussain, took the salute, watched by special guests Madam Tito and Mr. Kosygin. Following the mechanized column came more than 10,000 marching members of the armed forces.
back 35 years, but it was Mrs. Gandhi's assassination just three months ago that dictated procedure at this year's parade. President, President Zayal Singh abandoned the traditional horse and carriage ride for a bulletproof limousine, while security agents buzzed around Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Thousands of spectators had to pass through metal detectors. अब उतर चुके हैं और प्रधानमंत्री ने उनसे हाथ मिलाकर स्वागत किया
President of India, Dr. P.P.J. Kalam, escorted by the Commandant of the President's Bodyguards Regiment, Colonel Arani Singh, and the second in command, Major Han Excellency Mr. Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, have arrived. 